man uh, went to court to try to avoid paying uh, her debts. Uh, and so, um, you know, that's the contrast that voters are going to see is two people that uh, ran into trouble, as a lot of people uh, do. Um, one candidate who fixed the problem, the other candidate who um, went to great lengths and great expense to weasel out of paying uh, her obligations. How many payments did you miss anymore? Uh, you know, it was a handful of payments. I don't know exactly how many uh, it was. I was... Um, uh, it was uh, during the time when I was being sworn into uh, Congress and setting up a new office. My wife and I were um, consolidating uh, our finances uh, together, and we had inadvertently missed a, uh, a few payments. We, uh, when we found out about it, we took steps to um, uh, to pay it back uh, in full, and fiance. we can and we can fiance at that time, right? Um, and then uh, and then we continued to bank with uh, with Chase uh, until we. Uh, until we sold uh, that house. Um, and uh, uh, listen, Linda McMahon took a very different path. Uh, when Linda McMahon couldn't pay uh, back her mortgage, uh, she uh, took legal actions to get out of paying uh, those bills. Uh, she didn't pay her income taxes for five years. Uh, when she uh, finally got through bankruptcy, she uh, tried to uh, rehab her finances by going to a convicted loan shark. Um, Linda McMahon's story uh, of financial difficulty is fundamentally different than uh, my story. And frankly, if voters compare the two, I think they're going to see um, two very different sets of values at work. Did you tell your campaign about this? Did they know about this? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I had discussed it with uh, with all the current uh, campaign uh, uh, staff, but uh, you know, obviously, um, it's been out there in the public for you know for anybody to, to see. We certainly haven't tried to tried to hide it. One of the things um, Mrs. McMahon said when she was here was that it, there's a big difference between um, what she did as a private citizen 40 something years ago and um, and your issue in the more recent past. Uh, and again, when you were um, when you were a member of Congress, how how would you respond to that? I don't see uh, I don't see any difference. Um, you know, this is uh, about values. And uh, Linda McMahon, uh, when faced with financial difficulties, uh, weaseled out of paying uh, her debts. And now as a candidate for office and a billionaire, she still refuses to pay back her creditors. 36 years later and billions of dollars into her bank accounts, and she still won't pay back the people that she owes. Um, as soon as I found out that I made a mistake, uh, I paid back um, uh, my uh, my creditors, um, and uh, that's a statement about values. Whether or not she was in uh, political life uh, then, she's had a long time to repair her mistake, and over the course of three decades, she hasn't. Um, when I found out about my mistake, uh, I remedied it. She what happened with the rent in the southern uh, You know, I inadvertently missed a few um, uh, a few payments while I was uh, in the state legislature and burning the midnight oil as an attorney. And um, uh, as soon as uh, I found out that I had uh, missed those payments, I, uh, uh, I, I I fixed the problem. How many payments? Uh, again, I, I don't know how many payments. It was ten. It was ten years ago. Uh, did you get any? Again, it's been you know this has been public you know domain for um, you know since it uh, since it happened. So um, you know ultimately uh, you know I, I'm not a perfect person. I, uh, I, I I've made mistakes, but uh, when I've made mistakes, uh, I've immediately corrected them, and that's in direct contrast to how the new band has dealt uh, with uh, with her mistakes. What do you say to that claim that? Uh you got some sort of sweetheart deal with the, the interest rate on the home equity? It's ridiculous. Um, I uh, uh, applied to um, Webster Bank just like any of their customers would, um, and I was approved just like any of their customers would. Webster Bank uh, said that today uh, in, uh, in a statement, and that charge is, uh, is, is ridiculous. Is All this, right. pers is this uh, personally embarrassing to you? I mean, um, you know, forgetting about these payments, missing the payments, uh, looking back, how, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I wasn't, um, I wasn't happy when uh, I discovered that we had uh, mixed, screwed up our finances and missed several, uh, several payments. But, um, you know, I'm proud of the way I responded. Um, you know, just like uh, other Connecticut residents who face these kind of problems, um, I took steps to pay back my debts. Um, and uh, Linda McMahon has absolutely nothing to be proud of when she looks back on how she dealt with her financial troubles. Um, she took great pains to avoid paying her debts back and even today um, refuses to pay back the people she owed even as she is uh, now uh, a billionaire. Uh, I felt I had an obligation once I found out about my mistake uh, to uh, pay back the people I owed. 
Linda McMahon clearly didn't feel like she had uh, an obligation to, to do the same thing. Was, uh, was Jim Smith, uh, the a CEO of Webster Bank, uh, a finance chair of your 08 re-election campaign? I've never had finance chairs of my re-election campaign, so uh, Jim Smith has never you know, held an official position on, uh, on, my, uh, camp on my campaigns.